Hello everyone, welcome to this tutorial by ZebraCode. In this Windows command prompt series, we are going to work with drives, directories and files. To do that, we need to open the command prompt. There are different ways to do that. In the search area of your computer, you can type in CMD and click on command prompt to open the command prompt window. I will minimize this. Another way to do it is to open a folder or the file explorer and here on the address bar type in CMD and hit enter. This will open it for you. I will minimize this. Another way to open it is to press the Windows key on your computer and press the letter R. Let's press both the Windows key and letter R at the same time. The run window will come up. Type in here CMD and hit OK. And that will also open it for you. So you can have multiple CMD windows open at the same time. I'm going to open one of them. Now, this one here says C colon backslash users backslash users right angle bracket. So let me quickly explain this to you. C here shows that we are on the C drive. And on our C drive, we have users. So the user here, we show your username or the user that was set up on this system. So the user here, we show your username or the user that is logged in to this system. If you want to find out who the current user is that is logged in, you can use the command, who am I? Who am I? W-H-O-A-M-I. And hit enter. Great. In my case, it shows user, which is this one here. In your case, it's going to show the username. Before I go further, let me increase the font size of this command prompt window. Okay, 20 looks bigger. Now, to work with directories, I'm going to use this command DIR, which is for directory. I'll hit enter. Great. It shows me all the directories on my computer and the files in them. It is a long list. Okay. Here it says volume is in drive C, and this is my computer, make, which is Acer. And here it shows the directories for this user. I will scroll down again. Here it shows different directories. Here DIR directory. Then it shows the number of files I have and the number of directories. It says here I've got 29 files and 78 directories. Now I am going to navigate to my desktop. I will use the command CD, which is for change directory desktop. Please note that with the command, the name of your directories are case sensitive. So type it as it is. If I type desktop with lowercase d, it will not find it. Now we hit enter. Great. Now the directory I am in is shown here. It says C drive users and user, which is the username. Yours might be different. And it shows here desktop, which means I am now on my desktop. I have a folder on my desktop and it's called AI dev, which is this one here, this folder. And now, I am going to navigate to this folder. Now, for me to navigate to my folder AI dev, I will type in here CD AI dev. If you press the tab key, it will help you to auto complete it. Now, I will hit enter. Let me move this one up a bit. Now, I am in my AI dev folder. I would like to make a new folder inside that folder. To do that, I will use the command mkdir, that's make directory space, and I will call it my apps. I will hit enter. Great. Now I have created a directory named my apps. And if we check here, exactly, now we have a new folder or directory now called my apps. This time, let's navigate to the my apps folder. 
to be inside the my apps folder i will use the command cd my apps and i hit enter now i am inside the my apps folder i am going to create a file inside the my apps folder to do that i will use the command touch and the name of the file i'll call it people.txt and i would want to open that file in notepad i will put here space and and i will say notepad space people.txt what this command will do is when i run it inside the my apps folder it will create a text file with the name people and it will open it with notepad i'm going to hit enter now to see that exactly now notepad has opened a file called people.txt and if we go inside that folder my apps exactly we have the file people.txt in it we to minimize this if i want to create another file inside that folder i can use the same command touch space staff dot txt now hit enter great and if i go inside that folder now i should find another file named staff let's see that double click on it exactly now we have two files inside that folder people.txt and staff.txt minimize this if i want to delete any of the files i can use this command rm people.txt and hit enter great now let's check it we we'll open it exactly now i have only one file left the other file people.txt has been deleted the command rm stands for remove which is used for deleting a file or a folder now i have a lot of text on my screen to clear it or clean it up i will use the command cls which is clear screen or just use the command clear i'm going to use the cls hit enter great everything has been deleted except this line so this tutorial was to show you how to work with drive directories and files using the command prompt thank you for watching see you in my next video bye for now